I'm Kelly Shippey, and this is my entry for the Great Fat Burger Kitchen Cook-Off. I call it the California Girl. In here, I have four pieces of bacon cooking away. We're going to get them nice and crisp, and then we're going to use some of the bacon grease for a very special sauce. I know, it sounds all kinds of wrong, but it's so right. All right, bacon's almost done, but in the meantime, I'm going to get my avocado mayonnaise ready. Oh yeah, that's gonna go on the top bun, which I've already toasted, but I wanna make the avocado mayonnaise real quick. It's not hard, but it's so good. All right, real quick, I'm just going to get the avocado in a bowl and a little salt and pepper mayonnaise and lime juice and then it'll be ready okay so real quick we are going to squeeze some lime and i like using the little tiny um florida limes what are these called key limes i like using the key limes i find they have more juice than a regular lime so that's what i use and then we just mash it so that we can put it right on top all right, so that is ready. A little salt, a little pepper, and it's good. We'll put it to the side till later. Now, back over here to the bacon grease. We're gonna grab two spoonfuls and put it into the small pan over here, and then we're gonna make a special sauce with it. Let me add some barbecue sauce, two spoonfuls and about two cups of barbecue sauce. We're gonna make two patties, so that'll make two. And then some Worcestershire sauce, about two tablespoons. And a little kicker, apple cider vinegar for that little tang. Now we're gonna let that simmer for about 10 minutes. All right, now we're gonna get our fat burgers in. And I'm gonna salt and pepper real quick. Salt and pepper. I always salt and pepper before putting patties down. Let go. Okay, side two, salt, pepper. While the patties are cooking and the sauce is simmering, we're gonna take our already toasted buns, like I said, I already toasted them, a little butter, and on the bottom bun, we are going to spread a chipotle cream cheese, see? Mmm. I made just cream cheese and chopped up chipotle with adobo sauce, and I'm gonna spread a nice layer on the bottom That'll give a little bit of heat, a little kick on the tongue, but at the same time, the cream cheese has a mellowing effect. So you get just that little touch of hot at the back of your throat, which is exactly what I want. All right, now here's one of my secrets. I am going to take that delicious bacon barbecue sauce that we made and I am going to glaze the patties with it before I turn them over one more time. So that is going to sear on there and seal in the juices as well as infuse all that barbecue flavor into the burger. All right, last flip. And one more bit of sauce. Ooh, we're gonna turn down the heat a bit. Hit that sizzle, that's that sauce caramelizing on there. We're not gonna leave it on here very long, just a couple minutes, just long enough. Whoop. 
turn down the heat just long enough to melt our cheese, which is smoked gouda. So smoked gouda right on each patty and quick, gonna get a lid on there to melt that cheese. And I'm turning off the heat. Now we're gonna build our burgers. We're gonna grab that uh, avocado mayonnaise and smear it on the top with a nice thick coat. And then, as soon as that cheese is melted, we will put that on the bottom bun. There we go. Now let's check on our cheese and see if that's ready to go. Aha. All right, we're gonna do this the fat burger way cheese on the bottom. So you're gonna take your bottom bun, put it on top of the cheese, slide under your patty, and voila! That's the fat burger way. There we go. Now we're gonna smear more of that barbecue sauce on top because it's so good. And we definitely want a nice messy burger. If it's not sloppy, then it's not good enough. And then on top of that, we're gonna put our bacon, two slices of bacon for each one. Two for them, two for him. Oh yeah. All right, now we're gonna put a big hunk of tomato slice on there and some arugula and on top of the arugula we're gonna put a hunk of cilantro now if you don't like cilantro leave it off I happen to love cilantro and so I'm putting a lot on there and it makes the flavor now in here I have just olive oil and red wine vinegar equal parts um, I borrowed this from my kids snow cone making machine don't tell them I don't know if the snow cones are all or taste the same. <laughs> so I'm gonna dress that salad just a little bit. And I don't think I forgot anything. Top bun goes right on there. And that is the California girl. Look at this. Okay, can you see all the parts there? Deliciousness, gooey, messy, cheesy, and a little bit spicy. That's my California girl, because once you taste it, you'll wish they all could be California girls. <laughs> Thanks. Bye-bye.